Hey, I'm Dave. Welcome back into the shop at Diesel Power Products. Today we're going to install a PPE water air intercooler on a 2011 and up Super Duty Ford. Ours is an F250 with a 6.7 high output diesel. First things first, we got to disconnect the battery and drain the coolant out of this thing. All right, coolant's draining. I use a water jug basically so I can reuse the coolant. This stuff's all like brand new. So that's gonna drain down. It's gotta get lower than the intercooler, so it'll take a little while. All right, coolant is drained. We got like four gallons out of it. I think the next steps are gonna be starting to disassemble coolant hoses, charge air pipe, everything that's in the way of the intercooler so we can get that thing out of there. Oh, look at that. This thing's coming out. This is the hot side charge air pipe. This guy's coming out right now. We're getting close to being able to pop the, this I think. And that should just pop right out of there. There we go. All right. All right, coolant lines are off, the charge lines are off. I need to take this battery out so that I can access some hardware down below, and then we should be able to get the intercooler out. All right, the battery's out of the way, so I get to this last bolt. We'll pop the intercooler out here in a second. There's one little grommet on the bottom that it rests in, and then this thing should come out. There it is. Cool. All right, the intercoolers out of the truck, so we're swapping grommets and mounting points over to the new one. And we should be putting it back in the rig here pretty soon. Little trick on these plastic clips. It's easier to put it back inside the hose and then it will snap onto this easy on the rig. A little size difference going on. We'll put this on the hose. All right, everything's swapped over. Let's see if this thing fits. There we go. I just got to get it around these coolant lines and that lower charge pipe kind of pulled out of the way. And it should go right in place. The intercooler's in its new home. Now I just got to finish hooking up the coolant lines and the charge pipes. It looks like I have to put the turbo adapter on first and then we will start building out the rest of the hot side pipe. The turbo adapter is out on, now it's time to throw together the couplers and I might as well take the charge pipe up there and get it ready. The hot side pipe is going in and it actually fits pretty good. I've got it attached to the intercooler side and coupler here. I got a couple more hose clamps on this end and then we just got to swap over the sensor and we should be good to go. I'm going to transfer the sensor out of the hot side pipe and go throw it in the new one. It's 
just plastic and has an o-ring seat so you don't need to really crank on it too hard the hot charge pipe is in now it's time to go and start assembling the lower charge pipe this one's got a metal section in the middle where the other one was just rubber piping all around so it's a little bit of fitting it and figuring it out and then we should be able to go put it in the rig I think I'm going to leave the intake air temp sensor on the bench for a second. That way I don't break it while I'm maneuvering this thing around. Let's go install. All the piping is in and couplers are tight, so it's time to just throw the intake air temp sensor in. And then we should just be buttoning up the coolant lines, top it off, throw the battery in, and be done with this puppy. that's about it. I got to tighten down the battery and I think we're done with this job. Top off the coolant and we're out of here. If you like this product, if you like that intercooler, check out the link in the description and hit up dieselpowerproducts.com.